little thing over here is like a bell. Yeah, thing in it. Is on it. Yeah, right? Oh boy, now you're documenting my failure. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting it with the... Really? What about that little alarm? Are you gonna? Uh, I'm taking that. Cart, yeah, that should be put into a bell jar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The other thing, when I when I leave here, since since before I've been here, there's been a money can that we use at the box office. An old salmon can. It's just it's just the plainest tin can, and we put the change in it and carry it down to the box office and up here, and. Um, you know, when I'm really retired, I'm going to calculate how much money has gone through that can. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, over 40 years, it's a lot. I bet. And, of course, all the beautiful wear and tear on the can. Oh, it's smooth. Yeah. You know, <laughs> all green inside. <laughs> For old technology, it's just very cool. The simplicity of some of the old technology is yeah. just so, so almost superior, really. It's enabled Blake to keep these machines going all these years. Because he's simple. <laughs> <laughs> this ground wire here is really hard to get at. I'm just gonna cut it if I. Yeah, if you'll hold this so I don't yeah. pull it over. Kind of woke up. I hadn't had <laughs> coffee. Remember? I overslept this morning, so. Oh, I love this bell thing. That's the mirror. God, it's gorgeous. What can we do with that? I don't know. Because it. It doesn't need to be in garden art. No? Gosh. This one I'm going to cut. This little uh, door with the RCA in there is really cool, too. It's like yeah. having a scrap metal guy here. <laughs> yeah, it's <says, like, laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mike. Well, he has an appreciation for the arcane, too. We just closed this door and slipped some of the little screws back in. I've already managed today to lose the special screwdriver for that. Oh yeah, that's Oh, it's, nice. it's yeah, around are... security screws. Yeah. Because they don't want anyone... Getting... Tampering that shouldn't be. Yeah, because those it's bulbs good. can explode. It's sort of a, that's the first like thing having I... your admin password, except that in those days it was a screwdriver. <laughs> that's the first thing I did this morning, was to get those bolts out. Because I'm going to pass those on. They still have a lot of life in them. That's great. But Brazil, for Brazil. some reason, is still importing a few, and I just do not understand it. Mm. Why anyone would choose do that. to do that? So, <laughs> yeah. Why would anyone put in old technology? Oh, the rewind machine is gone already. Yeah. That's got the cool logos on it on the cover. What's it say, Lynn? National Theater Supply? Yeah. If it's too heavy, get Nick to help you with it, please. Can't be too heavy. I'm being documented. Oh, I see. You have to, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's the machismo now. I don't know. Actually, it's not that heavy. <gasps> Tin box. Yeah. All right, Nick, quick. Grab it. No. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing for time, sweetheart? Um, you're not, not sweetheart even. <laughs> 1040. 1040. Unless there's something going on right. I don't know about. After all these years, I'm guessing there isn't. <laughs> That's my boy. All, when we get these out of here, these uh, this flex conduit is all greasy. Uh -huh. And I'm going to want someone to clean it. And, and I was just thinking it's a job for a single man. <laughs> <laughs> They say this is a single man's task. How does it feel? Well, how do you think it feels? <laughs> we want to talk about it. I mean, being single. Oh, I see. <laughs> 15 extra bucks and I'll do it with my shirt off. <laughs>
Steve, so you, got, you, you ready to go to work? Steve Gregory. Hey there, Steve Gregory. The hookups. I got this on my hand, but hi. Nice cool. to meet you. After, <laughs> after you're cleaned, it, for as long as you could stay, you would be his assistant, if that's okay with you. Okay, no problem. You can you learn something new. Absolutely. I'm always, He's always been a roadie on. for many years. He's always got some stories, too. Cool. cool. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah, so See how much room we have? <laughs> yeah. So going to be wiring up the new amps, huh? Yes, I am. New amps and uh, new wire and uh, new speakers as well. It's going to be uh, quite, quite nice. I, I remember when you put in surround sound. For Amadeus. No. For Amadeus. No, the first film was Stop Making Sense. It was. I yes, always thought was. the first Dolby film was Amadeus. Stop making sense. And on the Saturday Night Late Show, we got to dance to that's, that movie. That's right. I love that. You know, and when I saw that movie, I didn't know the Talking Heads, but when I saw that movie, I realized that all the songs that I thought Michael LaCastro had written and was playing with his band were actually <laughs> David Byrne songs. <laughs> we, we saw that show live at Seattle Center before Lucky the dog. film came out. Lucky dog. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. I would play it and dance around to it again. Oh, yeah. That's not my beautiful wife. <laughs> and the water flows. Yes, indeed. This is Miles McCray, McCray uh, Theater Equipment. He's uh, installing our new digital projector. But um, yeah, I do have a fondness for Brinkert projectors, the ones that came out uh, yesterday, um, because they were the first ones that I ever learned to thread uh, in my uncle's theater in Redmond, Washington, back in 1974. Wow. I started here in 71. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's when I first started at Brinkers. Yeah, well, yeah, they're see, great, great um, machines. I mean, I, I don't know exactly when they stopped making them, but I think it must have been early 50s or late 40s. Well, uh, see, I thought those machines were brought in here in the mid-50s, is what I was told. Well, that may, may be, but... Uh, they might have been used. Yeah. I mean, we, there's still equipment out there in some places that, uh, you know, RCA Photophone sound heads that were made in 1939. So. Wow. Yeah, this stuff will be just as reliable and last just as uh, long, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we don't think so. It's going to be uh, yeah, a little bit more of a regular upgrade, right? <laughs> Software upgrades yeah. uh, once well, every uh, six months. At yeah, least. well, that's not so bad. No. <laughs> Can you do that over the net, over the internet? Well, it depends on the. I mean, some of the stuff you you can. You yeah, know. I bet. actually, I spent uh, just day before yesterday about uh, four hours in Ketchikan, you know, from my desk. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> helping uh, troubleshoot a problem there. Cool. You know, all, all I needed to, to have was somebody on site who could tell me what it looked like on screen. I guess if I had a, a you know Skype feed, Skype I could have done that. Mm -hmm. so, That's pretty wild. Yeah. You know, so this is the lamp unit in front that Miles just took out to make sure that there was room to get it out where we're installing it oh, close to yeah. the wall. Huh. And those lamps occasionally uh, blow up. And that's not a good scenario in, in, uh, with the glass reflector. If, if you have a lamp blow up, uh, your reflector is gone. So. And the reflectors are $3,000. Yeah. These things log everything. You, know, uh -huh. you, you look at the logs and uh, they're hundreds of uh, actions that are logged every second. Wow, and that's the viewport from the other side? Well, actually, that, that's the uh, cold fold mirror. The, uh, the, the light from the lamp gets uh, uh, reflected off of that, and, and what you're seeing in, in that mirror is the end of the light pipe. The, the, there's an integrator rod. It's a, a, a silicon pipe, I guess, that, that uh, that transmits the light uh, down to the the other, other end to the mirrors to the well eventually to the mirrors. Eventually. Right? There's another another uh, right angle in the path uh, down there. And huh. then, it, then it goes through a prism uh, after after it makes the right turn down here, and the light gets split into red, green, and blue. And uh, you have a digital micro mirror device for each one of those. This, you know, this was two before. It's going to have to change to one, obviously. And there's a reducer there. Okay. Um, so I'll go get my uh, drill off the stage. My cordless. Didn't get your name. I'm Ed. Stringer. 
So the uh, the movies will now ship just on uh, hard drives that uh, yeah, slip in. Actually, got a couple of hard drives uh, oh. out there already. Great. Yeah. Cool. The Friday night show. Well, yeah. they're actually the trailers. Uh, they don't have the, the show yet. Yeah. Yeah. Is this going to happen? Oh, well, it's got lots of screws okay. in it. I'll let me know when you get it off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right outside, I think. We'll put it on the city streets. Uh oh. <laughs> we'll get a call from the public works department. So one of the questions is, is, is this fan adequate? And we're yeah. guessing and hoping that it is. And Miles will make that determination. It's our zoom lens. So this is motorized and will automatically calibrate and right. Well, you have two two different formats, so just like you did with 35 millimeter. So with 35 millimeter, you had to uh, physically take one lens out and put the other one in. And these lenses uh, have a range. A zoom ratio that allows them to uh, accommodate both formats. It's a beautiful thing, a brand new lens. Right. A zoom lens, right? Yep. So what what sizes of screen would that work for for a throw of this 65 feet? Well, we've got, it's a 2.4 to 3.9. So you take the uh, the throw and you divide it by uh, those two figures and that gives you the screen width uh -huh. that you can hit. And this is the, what they call a Dallas key. Hmm. And uh, the part of the whole uh, thing that makes uh, these machines special is that they're uh, yeah, they uh, deal with encrypted material uh, on the the D cinema side of it uh, and so the the enclosure itself uh, uh, that handles uh, the electronics uh, there are all kinds of security measures that that ensure that uh, you can't get in there and and uh, record a perfect copy of you know the latest film mm -hmm. so anytime uh any of these covers come off um it triggers the uh, security and uh, uh it shuts down the uh decryption so all you get is snow oh, wow. and so in order to uh re initialize the the cabinet you have uh, have this key that you uh place up against this uh sensor and then you have to put in a code uh, in hmm. order to re-enable the uh, playback. Wow. Over the years, there's a lot, a lot of uh, stuff happened since 1937. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these here, these little... breakers uh, weren't weren't here in '97. Uh, <laughs> I mean '37. Okay, so we'll we'll start uh, hanging some speakers, and, and when you need anything, just holler. Oh, coffee! We need coffee. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to run and get some espresso? Yeah. Get get you guys some lattes. Yeah. What what do you awesome. want? That's exactly what I. Uh, you want a latte? Oh, yeah. We got we I got it. Yeah. Double yeah. tall. Double tall with an extra shot, maybe. Okay. Uh oh. A triple. Okay. <laughs> And the surround comes to life. Yeah, we're waiting for that. Pardon me? Uh, I've got some 10 gauge uh, wire that I'd like to pull from the breaker panel. Yeah, yeah. Just make it all good. Absolutely. Because it uh, starts out being 14 or something. And, oh, yeah, so. that's crazy. Whole new set of amps, huh? New amplifiers, new wire, new just about everything up here. Up for the old QSC. The old QSC is Steady. still going to run the sub so. at Mono Bridge. Oh. 
1500 watts into 4 ohms. Oh my god. Per channel. Excuse me, 1500 watts into 2 ohms per channel and 14 pounds. So if he has an amp channel go down, he can patch around it because we have one spare channel in this rig. Nice. So he can repatch processor output into the spare channel and then repatch his speaker to that channel as well. Very nice. Yeah, this these will all be outputs to the speakers. So we'll have patch cables between these connectors in the front and he can just simply unplug yeah. and move it and swap it. Yep. Makes it look pretty. Oh, I, I try. Look at uh, the artwork there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? A craftsman. This gets bolted to the 2x6. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. yeah. See, that's the part, this is the part that goes to the wall. Yeah. So if we put some sort of standoff here, then we don't have to cut the, the fabric. Okay. It's just a thought. Lynn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm right here. What's this? Well, no, the brown one. <laughs> and that brown one. And we, and we shattered that bit. Oh boy. Okay, what else do you need while you're on? Uh, we need two bits. Two bits for your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had one and it just exploded. Oh yeah. yeah. Is this a it looks a little different from what I remember. Up, a step up from 1950s uh, machinery. Yeah. Wow. I'm in the way of everybody. No, you're not. I could be. <laughs> well, looky oh, here. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So there's the, the slot for the, the disk drive caddy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, what do we have over on the side here? Those look well, like others. A, there are actually four hard drives that uh, comprise the uh, array. Oh, array. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so uh, once you ingest the content, uh, well, you insert the content there and then ingest it onto the uh, onto the raid. The raid, and uh, it, uh, this actually has uh, what they call a media block built into it that mm -hmm. that deals with the encrypted content and the transfer of that content to uh, the projector. Uh -huh. I'm ready to uh, power up the the server at this point. Let me see what it looks like. So this is where our Ethernet cable it goes to the auditorium network. Uh -huh. And if we had other devices that were uh, uh, Ethernet controllable devices, uh, they'd all be on the auditorium network of our cinema processor or automation or whatever. But uh, in this instance, all we've got uh, is the projector connected to the, uh, the server on the auditorium uh -huh. network. And then this is the little link data that actually is... Uh, Connecting the uh, media block that's inside to uh, the uh, uh, show store portion, and then we've got the the mouse and the keyboard and uh, VGA. the VGA, and then the only other thing is uh, well, these two are the uh, uh, video output uh, HDSDI. There's one that's uh, A and one that's B, and so they go up and they plug into the side of the projector uh, A and B. And then you have the audio cable, uh -huh. which uh, comes Looks out and goes over to and here. Goes over there. So I've got the little box links controller uh, that will sit in the back of the rack. Um, I've got it uh, just sitting there right now. Uh -huh. And so uh, we'll plug plug the serial uh, connector from the server to the, the little box links, and then we'll have our uh, contact closures to go and operate the uh, the lighting and the uh, the sound and. And uh, all those things that you control via the serial automation. We have contact. <laughs> Something's happening. And, uh, a bunch of little uh, switches. Mm -hmm. And uh, so most of the uh, devices uh, in the theater are controlled uh, by close contacts, you know, just like pushing a button. So we are, we're going to have a dimmer up here that has, uh, you know, lights to, lights mid, lights down, lights up. And so each one of these relays uh, we will assign um, 
in the program to, to uh, perform those functions. So every time uh, it's called, uh, well, they, they become cues that you uh, drag and drop into the uh, timeline of the show. We don't have any shows built, really, so. That's where you would build your playlist, huh? Right, so this is the, the uh, content that uh, it comes, comes with uh, these different clips and black uh, transition, uh, transitional clips. Um, but there, at this point, there are no features, there are no trailers, there are no ads. Those test uh, clips will show up here under test. Yeah. But to create a show, I, I can go over here and uh, go create show. And then uh, just call it whatever I want. Test glide. OK. And so these transitions allow you to, you can drag and drop these transitions and drop the, uh, the policy trailer on there. Mm -hmm. And so then I go, uh, well, that's all we got right now. Well, let's we'll start loading content here pretty quick. There's a box of goo out there. They re-engineered the uh, slides on this version. <laughs> well, you got to put it in the right side. Uh, <laughs> and then if I go to control, and uh, go to manually load. There's the show that I created. They go, okay. And we're ready to roll. So now we need to uh, get the projector uh, aligned to the screen and uh, get the sound hooked up and we're ready to roll. All right. Yeah. I guess we could load, load some more content. Uh, it gets uh, pretty boring uh, watching the same, uh, although it is a pretty cool little uh, clip uh, to begin with. It, it's actually uh, Dolby's, uh, Dolby's little uh, promo thing, and it starts out uh, with film. You can hear film going through the projector, and the, and the countdown leader starts eight, seven, six, and then it hangs in the, in the gate and burns up <laughs> and uh and turns into this uh you know excellent yeah that's pretty funny that's cool yeah uh you can left center right right surround back surround right back surround left left surround yeah Right about, <laughs> right about here is where you can start seeing the dots Come on the screen. On table. Center channel. Yeah, What's next? Uh, well, we've got to actually calibrate the system at some point. You know, but they want to learn how to build. So I don't know. I mean, either we learn how to build or I calibrate. I have to shoot colors, calibrate the, uh, the colors, and then go through the sound system and uh, set levels and equalize the system. So. Okay. There are a few more hours left. Yeah. But we've, we've, uh, we've got the uh, key elements, you know. <laughs> it's getting fun. So the green uh, green outline is actually uh, what our flat image is supposed to be. And uh, that's 1998 uh, by 1080. Cut the plate. Man, I was never any good at filing aperture plates. <laughs> They're brass, you know, yeah. and it goes really fast. Yeah. And uh, everything's upside down and backwards. Everything's upside down and backwards, and you can hook into a corner so easily. Yeah. Mm. Um, and all of a sudden, why are you you're looking at one side trying to get rid of a shadow, and <laughs> hey, man, this isn't doing anything, you know? I think I'll uh, go ahead and shoot the colors. So there's uh, the the uh, these are calibrated in the CIE XYZ color space, and so in that space uh, they they're 
it's a, a graph of uh, the color spectrum and there's a point for uh, red, there's a point for green, there's a point for blue, and there's a white point. <laughs> what, what time would you anticipate the lessons? Whenever you guys are ready, I guess. I don't know. So we say, two. say two? Okay. 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 That's me. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. Have fun. Thanks, Steve. Good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> so you come in and you turn on your uh, your uh, sound rack. The monitor will come uh -huh. up, and you you can then after that one's on, turn uh, turn the amps on. Do you want to build it for tomorrow? Sure. Yeah. Let's build it for tomorrow. Yeah. And so that will be Arthur. Lens format will be uh, flat. Okay. Open it, you slide it in. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So it's going to take a second. Well, that one. That's not hard at all. The I mean, it went fast, but was it actually loaded? Or it was just showing the no, uh, You have to select what you Gave want. Gave you a directory. Uh, and it just yeah. loads that. Yeah. Right. That's right. So yeah. it does go fast. We'll play that a few times. That's pretty cool. We'll want to play that, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brooke, remember watching the Muppet Show together when you were little? Yep. You think we should have rented a bigger car? Man, what a picture. Yeah. yeah. That's gorgeous. Uh, the Muppets combined with rapping penguins. I'm just in a happy place. <laughs> Happy feet or happy place? Happy place. So Steve, it's a wrap, huh? It's uh, pretty much a wrap, yeah. We have... Uh, right channel. Oh, as, you're as right. As you can hear. Turn off that light so it can Yeah, cool. we'll pull that and let right it cool away. for a while. Uh, we have a working audio system, Whoa. which is wonderful. Yeah. New amplifiers. And nice and clean. Very nice and clean, yeah. No more, no more dust bunnies inside the amplifiers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice crisp image out there. Pretty sharp. It's amazing. Uh, it's just amazing. And there's no, no flicker. Right. Kind of miss that flicker. <laughs> but if people have claimed that that's uh, a whole part of uh, oh, the, sure. uh, the experience. Oh, it's yeah. a hypnotic uh, thing that it's, it's like draws the, you into the... Uh, it's like the hiss on vinyl. If it right. doesn't hiss, it can't be a good sound. Right. You can always add that stuff back in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all in all, was it painless? Uh, it was pretty painless, you know. Uh, now, now that it's all over and all that uh, nasty cloth wire is uh, out, uh, I'm good. It's fun. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> yeah, you guys know that uh, the the Clyde's just moved over to digital. Are you guys up to? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is a big thing. Uh, Seven point one surround and uh, he brought us clean digital. <laughs> yes, <gonna> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so excited. William. It's about time. We're stepping it up around here. <laughs> Well, that's, that's cool. That's exciting. Just upgraded the movie theater, so it's going to be a really amazing picture and sound. That's so cool. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Well, so we come in and there's the uh, server making all that noise. Steve calls it the hovercraft. <laughs> and we still haven't gotten over the fact that it has to run all the time. It's a little quieter since he put the side panels on it. Oh, yeah. Um, and our plan is to get some sound absorption, absorptive material like mm -hmm. you have in your studio recording studio yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and started on this wall and uh -huh. that wall and the ceiling does that make sense yeah 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 so yeah. tonight's the first night and i'm a little bit anxious but not very uh -huh. so we're going to uh start some music 
and I guess it should be Christmas music. Other things we haven't worked out is where the keyboard is going to live. Oh, that's better. I can tell any Clyde customers that the picture is vastly improved over what I thought was a good picture. Um, the light is even on the screen. Uh, the lenses are better lenses so that everything on the screen is in focus. The, the old lenses I could only focus in the center or wherever I wanted to. The colors have been uh, equalized for, the, for this house and for these lenses and for this port glass and for the ambient light in the house so the colors are perfect. Um, there's no image moving. Uh, there's no scratched film. Um, hopefully they will be seamless presentations. We'll start with number one tonight. Um, and I think it's going to be a better experience to come to the Clyde to see a, not film, but a movie. <laughs> We have in to all its glory. What? Pardon? In all its glory. <laughs> in all its glory. But we, we not only have to change the equipment, we have to change our vocabulary. You just mm -hmm. can't say film anymore, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I always did say film, but there it is. There it is. Let's make a noise. The tail light. The tail lights. When those, that green is good. When they steady out at green, that's better. Uh -huh. And that's, this is the boot up process. And when that happens, this transport not available sign should go away and the little controllers down here should light up and then it's like running a DVD player. They're connecting like that. Yes. It's even better than the green light. Yes. Our the transport. Oh, we love it. Yeah. We love it. There we go. So, in theory, all I have to do is push that button. I don't have to lower the lights out there. I don't have to do anything to the sound, except I have to make sure that this is a good level for the previews, mm -hmm. and then I have to adjust the level for this particular movie, because they vary. You know, you've got to pay for this equipment. Prices are going up. Yeah. Prices are actually going down for teenagers. Oh, cool. We're, we're doing a new price structure, and it's going to be um, zero to 17 and 65 and over will be five dollars and everyone in between will be seven dollars so the in-betweeners get bumped up a dollar the seniors get bumped up a dollar which is one of my objectives because mm -hmm. they seem to have the money uh, not all of them clearly and the young kids will be bumped up a dollar and the teenagers will go down a dollar from what they pay now with the thought that for families it will even out. Oh, nice. Yeah. We, didn't want, we didn't want family rates to go up. And for some family, if, if someone comes with two teenagers, their price will actually be uh, less than it was before. Yeah. So, last time, when I first announced the price change, the folks applauded. <laughs> Yeah. And typically they say, what took you so long? Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> with the times, man. Yeah. We typically raise prices every five to seven years, something like that, mm -hmm. for inflation. Yeah. And of course, this isn't the first uh, upgrade. No. And we and we tried to time our price raises with something that they can see or hear. Mm -hmm. improvement. Yeah. You know, when we got the Dolby Digital Sound, that was something people could notice mm -hmm. and see where they see that they were getting money. One time we did it, we, we told people, and it was true, that we wanted to uh, give our employees a raise. Mm -hmm. so, Help with sweeping up all that popcorn. <laughs> oh, we, we have long-term really good employees. Yeah. And we like to pay them decently. Yeah, yeah, you really do have a wonderful crew here. Yep. Ta da! And here she goes. So, we should get some. The dimming of the lights, right? Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone slapped 
that out of your face. <laughs> Blake and Lynn hit the 21st century. <laughs>